So the answer to the ultimate question is 42. Problem is we don't know what the ultimate question is. I would say the question I want to know is, does my $15 water block work? Well, there's my $15 water block. There's a really crappy, tiny... Look, 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 look at my thumb. My thumb's wider than this radiator. Look at it all. This is absolute low-cost bang for your buck stuff. And look, 40 degrees, 1250 megahertz. Holy Jesus, guys. That is an incredible result. That's like a 25% overclocking increase. Damn. Right. So I water cool for performance. I don't do it for noise. I don't do it for anything. I do it because I want to get the best performance out of my system. That right there is my 7970 running at 10,200 GPU score and fire strike. It is running on this shitty old 1156 motherboard at PCIe 2, right? So it's not even reaching its full potential. But with this crappy little radiator and this very cheap yet incredibly effective water block and some cheap fans, I'm able to offer an incredible result. Now, I will say that this is a good pump and a good res, but I do have it running at its lowest setting, so any cheap pump will do the trick. Uh, I just didn't have anything lying around. So there you go, $15 water block. Really, really fantastic. It does a great job. Things to bear in mind is keeping your RAM and your VRMs cool. I can teach you, or at least I can take you through lots of different options. Thankfully, this card has uh, separate cooling plates for that. So it's a great candidate to just put the little block on the GPU. Anyway, guys, fantastic result. Thanks for watching.